Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people don't know exactly what it is. And it's uh, pretty much made its introduction into Windows with Windows 8 and it's OneDrive. So OneDrive, um, I've had a lot of questions about this. What is it and why is it in, for example, my file explorer? As you see here on the left, you've got a OneDrive folder. Now, if you're using a Microsoft account, this is on by default. It means that you've got a OneDrive storage area on the internet. OneDrive is what we call cloud storage. And cloud storage means you can put your documents, photos, anything you want there. It's even better in Windows 10 because with Groove Music, you can actually upload your music into the music folder of OneDrive and listen to it with your portable device, listen to it with any computer that you have with Groove Music. It will stream all your favorite songs. It's very, very nice. The storage itself is 15 gigabyte of data that you can upload there if you have a basic account. So if you have, for example, a Microsoft account, your OneDrive storage will simply be a storage of 15 gigabytes. But if you are a Office subscriber, I'm an Office 365 subscriber at uh, $99 a year, and it gives me one terabyte of storage. And I believe that even in the United States, this is unlimited storage. But here in Canada, from what I've seen, it's one terabyte, which is a lot of data. And it's very, very interesting because you can actually sync OneDrive. So when you click here, you can go say OneDrive and check the different options. Now you see here, it says OneDrive desktop app. It brings you to the OneDrive. You have all the options of OneDrive, um, what you want to sync. So for example, here at the bottom, OneDrive Online, you can right click, you can manage the storage, and you can also check the settings. Uh, there's a possibility of syncing information, syncing data from one computer to another using this OneDrive folder, which is very nice. So you can actually choose which folders you want to uh, sync. Uh, there was a major change to the OneDrive storage though. Uh, in Windows 10, which does not please a lot of people. And um, frankly, I wish they would have really done it like in Windows 8, but still, you got the OneDrive available. And that's one thing you got to be careful because when you actually um, want to save a document, it happens that people save a document in the documents folder and they don't see where it is. They can't find it. And they just didn't see that they actually saved document into OneDrive because a lot of the you know programs on your computer and apps save by default to OneDrive. So you got to be careful that when you save something you save it to the doc documents folder in your PC not into OneDrive and you can see that information at the top. But it's a very useful space if you want to uh, upload stuff to make sure that for example you get a backup of the most important files What's nice, it's offline. So if something happens, your computer gets stolen, you still have your stuff there. So it's really cool. And you can even go on a friend's computer to check it out. Because by going to a friend's computer, uh, what's cool is that you can just go into OneDrive uh, website and get files from there if you want to show something to a friend, for example. You can also share or send links to friends via email of specific files that you want to share with other people. So OneDrive storage is a nice feature. It's available to any Windows 8 and Windows 10 user, 15 gigabyte storage. You must use a Microsoft account to enable this. And if you're a OneDrive uh, or an Office, sorry, subscriber like I am, Office 365, you get one terabyte of storage, which is quite a lot basically. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about your computer, about Windows, let us know. We'll try to help you if possible. And uh, by subscribing, you'll know when new videos are online. And also, you'll be able to uh, 
um, you know, check them out, follow us. We have news, we have many very videos every day. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the videos and welcome back. Thank you for watching.